All right, so here in this video, we're going to be talking about liquidity pools. So the strongest liquidity pool is going to be above yearly highs and lows. So if we're on MetaTrader, here on a weekly chart, these uh, divided lines will show us the total range of the year. So we know that that range right there between that high and low is going to be heavily saturated with liquidity. There's going to be a lot of buy stops above that high, a lot of sell stops below that low. Another important level that we look at is the quarterly shift. So, sorry, I got my face in the way a little bit here. So that quarterly shift, we're going to look above quarterly highs and below quarterly lows. Same way that we'd look at that yearly. So right here, you can see this is that full year, and now we're on a daily chart. So each one of these dividers is representing one month. So we have January, February, March, so on and so forth. So for a quarter, we're going to look at the first three months, second three months, the third three months, and the fourth three months. We can start breaking those highs and lows into heavy levels of buy stops and sell stops. So you can see Q1, Q2, Q3, Q3 and Q4. So right here at the end of Q1, you can see they open and they run straight for those buy stops, letting us know, hey, institutional order flow is probably pretty bullish in here. So they run those buy stops. They eventually come back for some retracements that second month. And then that third month, they finish it off. And again, they take those buy stops there. Now, right here is where we can start looking for that quarterly shift. Once it trades above that level, that's where we can start looking for our shorts on the lower time frame. Same thing here. We want to see how it's responding. Is it running through those stops or away from them? Right here, you can see that the low of the quarter. As soon as they run that low of the third quarter here, they turn around and get back in line with this institutional order flow. So we also look at monthly shifts. We're going to look at the liquidity above monthly highs and below monthly lows. So right here, like when we have this high, you can see we trade below this monthly low. We take it out. We eventually turn around and we target that high. Same thing here, go down, we take that monthly low, run it again a couple months later, and then eventually run those highs. We can do the exact same thing looking at weeks. So right here, you can see uh, this is that first week of the month in 2022, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and you can see they go up, they form the high of the week, they fail to break it, forming that lower high, and then they trade down, and we aim for the low of the week there. Same thing here. You can see they make that high of the week on Monday, lower high, they break down. Now that we're below this week, if they fail to rally, we're assuming that they're going to run lower. Now, I just wanted to highlight this because generally, a week should take out the previous week's higher low. If we don't, we're expecting a breakout the next week. So right here you can see we did not take out the previous week's low and we did not take out the previous week's high. So we're expecting a breakout and we'll either target this high or this low depending on the setup we get. We also have a daily shift where we'll be looking at liquidity highs and liquidity lows based on the day.